Okay, so everything is good. We are we are on our way to actually do something. So we have created this little scene right here, right? Now we want to create what we actually want. Notice some of you watch these videos and you don't subscribe. Please subscribe right now. I will not upload more videos before you guys subscribe. Want to create a cube. Create a cube. Slash 3D object. Yo, what is up guys? And welcome to this video. I am your favorite. I mean, I am actually your new favorite, you, your new favorite YouTuber. Slash the modern day philosopher. Please. Please subscribe right now. I will literally find your IP address. Do you think I don't know Kelly Linux? I will, guys, I will literally find your IP address and your home address and then text your parents that the kid is literally watching my videos without subscribing. So please go ahead and do that right now. Okay, in this video, we actually want to create a cube. So we've created a, a scene so far, a camera, and now we're rendering this, uh, this scene with a camera in uh, um in our document which is basically just this so let's create a cube okay first of all you wanna um you wanna establish some geometry after that material uh what kind of material like is it are you gonna use uh, a color are you gonna have some skin on that cube or whatever after that you are actually wanna uh what is it called generate the cube uh the what is it called the mesh the mesh the mesh so let's do that. First of all, let's uh, let's create the geometry. So say so write in const geometry equals new free dot box geometry. And guys, please notice the spelling of these words. Some of them are in uh, Pascal case. That means they are both uh, uppercase uh, letters, and uh, some of them are kebab case. I don't know what that means, but we'll search it up. Yeah, um, box geometry 1.1.1. That's that just means it, it's a one one meter uh, x y and z. So uh, let's type in x y z one meter in their own respective uh, what is it called dimension. So this is the geometry right for the cube. Is one by one by one. Now we want to create the material material girl. Let's do this. New no free. Uh, we want to create the just want to create mesh basic, base capital capital M and B and capital M again material. New no free mesh basic material and we want to set a color. So type in these uh, bracket uh, curly brackets. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, there we go. So it's a little bit more clear. And then we want to have a color. So type in color and then your your favorite color or something. So type in red. I don't think we have. To, yeah, we have to type it in uh, those these two things. So what do we have so far? We should actually it shouldn't even be displaying anything. Um, Yeah. Um, what else? So we and now we actually wanna wanna create the cube. So const let's set it to cube. And um, now we can actually say new dot new free dot dot mesh dot mesh geometry. So we just created this geometry for the cube. And this is basically just cube material cube cube what is it called cube uh, cube geometry cube geometry all right so now we can actually put these things together in a free js mesh so we will set uh, the the geometry and the material together and this should then bring us let's take a look now we guys it's not going to display anything but look at this i'm going to reload in a few seconds let's write let's write one more line of code and see what happens now you've created a cube right so it's actually loading uh, the cube 
uh, on the PC, your code is actually has actually generated a cube, but we can't see it. Why? Because you have not added it to the scene that you've also created. You fool. So just type in scene dot add. And then what do we want to add? We want to add our cube that we just created, this little thing right now. Maybe I should just zoom in. There we go. Looks a lot more beautiful now, right? Why does my code look this weird? So we say scene.add, and then we want to add our cube. How amazing is this? And just look at this beauty. It looks like absolute nothingness. Why is that? Well, we actually want to push our camera away. So let's take a look at this camera. Remember, we, we created a camera. Yes, we can actually position it. That is the beauty of FreeJS in, I don't know, 10 meters. Let me just check and see uh, what does it say? What does it that's my bad guys? But but that's definitely it. We 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 definitely created a cube and a 3D object. Um, I'm also learning in the process, so I am also the teacher and the student. Basically, I'm just documenting my own learning. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Whatever. We've created a cube, and we will definitely display it in the next in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you on the next one. I will definitely find you if you don't do that.